guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 4 of season 2 of Beastars. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. The rest of my soda. Mm Excuse me. I'm staying there in the afro with a tangled. Tim? <gasps> oh. No, well, well kinda. <laughs> I don't really know what you would use alpaca wool for. Bless you. Oh, that guy won't come behind him, ain't he? The memory you see before you die. Okay, he might be behind you, though. Damn. Oh, he ain't gonna say anything. Oh. Where is he taking you? And of course he has a blindfold on him so he can't see. Shit. Of course. Uh. Mm-hmm. Because if you do, you go and die. Oh, you want to feel all right, but like, uh, mm -mm. Aww. People can be harsh too, but that's the world. Oh, damn. Like Billy's nose, just some, his arm, uh, that too. What if it's a bear? Oh. Uh. 
Oh, I was no baby. But, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Really more of like, help me. Damn. He fucked you up. Oh, oh my god. Jack, he's gonna be fine! We don't know. Well, the manga readers know, don't ya? Yeah. Yeah, because if he goes to school, he'll be just as in danger. Mm-hmm. Who knows? It's our ten. Mm-hmm. Hi, Jack. Are we going to go see the panda dude again? Panda? Do you have enough, though, money? 
home he fell. <laughs> but why? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, but then at the same time, if you would have stayed at school, you possibly would have been able to see him. And of course, it has to be he, but still, that would have been a risk because you would have got killed. Exactly. Sir, um, what what's our safe word? What's our safe word? Safe word is a ride, 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 ride. Really? Okay. Of course she's a stripper. Really? No. The term is exotic dancer. Mm. 
Well, I mean, he cares for him. That's good. Of course, because you're the one in control. Aw, oh, shit. Louise? Louise, you yell in the damn strip joint too? You gonna line this shit? Oh, damn. so good oh my god of course I mean, but you could have had everybody eat some plants, some bugs, you know, Timon and Pumbaa, Lion King up in this bad boy. But that's the way it goes. Let me guess, did you bring her home? You brought her home, didn't you? Oh, no, you're throwing that up, yeah. Yeah. Can't stomach it. Yeah, because you're a plant eater.
And, you know, this is bad. Mm. Boy, if you don't go eat some. No, he just wants to help you. Exactly, because if you keep doing this, you'll die. See? Honestly, I don't know what all is in that, but that look good. I eat it. No! Shit. Legacy? Hmm? No! Hold up. Why is she here? Because after the situation, her and season one and how, you know, she's like a really nice person. But then, you know, she could be very bitchy because of the ish that she wants. But uh, 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 <laughs> what's going on? Excuse me. No. Um, no, 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 no. I don't think she's going to beg him to come back to school because now that he's gone she can find she can be the b star he was in the running technically she wants to also be it because she said it at the end of season one and she's gonna do everything in her power to become the next b star so with him out of the way the you know the crown of b star is practically hers so why come to him at this moment in time and place there's something else she wants Maybe she probably won't ask him. Have you seen Legacy? Oh my god. Like he hasn't been here for a couple of days. Where'd he go? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm not surprised about the fact that Legacy had to leave. Of course, if he had stayed at school, it would have been life-threatening to the point where maybe um, our attacker... Us, the audience, um, possibly would have done some stuff to everyone he loves and cares about. So Haru, Jack, his friends, anyone who we, who we could really think of. Because, of course, there are some carnivores that will ta attack other carnivores and it's like that. Um, that was a... That animal, the stripper. She was a gazelle, right, I believe? I mean, honestly, okay, so <laughs> this is the feels that I got towards that. And this is, it was the movie, it's that movie Jennifer Lawrence is in. No, not Jennifer Lawrence, Jennifer Lopez is in, my bad, um, where she's a stripper. I don't remember the name because I've seen the movie freaking twice. Uh, only really that point because, you know, when it is a stripper or an exotic dancer, dancing she's the one who holds the power because you know power of the post initially like that but you know as someone you know who likes me some men but you know so power of the post thing <laughs> that us females so usually have over guys and how um people will normally say that is what we use to um get ourselves up in the world or sleep our way to the top but it's not always about that. It's always almost about your education and how smart you are and willing without sleeping with, you know, your boss or anyone. And ish, because that's a big no, no, don't do that. <laughs> but um, probably, yeah, uh, you know, as I said with, I think, what was it, episode two or three for season one? Um, this probably also had, you know, the furries as well with that ish. I mean... I am not one who is into that and such, but I, I know they, like, mm, I can't imagine, like, <laughs> I, I, mm, 
that's a whole different conversation. Maybe one day, like, you know, if I, I do I have a friend who's into furries? Well, I don't think so. But if I ever meet somebody who is into furries like that, I, I, I would honestly want to know. Because I'm curious and I would like to, like, how, you, what is your mindset of that? Because, like, uh, I, me, no, like, I can't. I, I can't see it like that. But, like I said, I, I would like to know. Yeah, I mean, because it's like, because everybody's curious about something. And it, it's okay to ask questions. And I'm not saying it as, like, oh, I, I want to dive into it. It's more into, your girl is curious and she just wants to know what are the certain things and it's like that for someone who was in that mindset of being in, 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 in into that yeah 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 okay yeah but this episode was good i liked it i i felt bad for louise because the fact is everybody every single time he eats meat everyone is watching him and i was thinking <laughs> there there's gonna be a point where he's going to get thinner and thinner and everyone's going to start noticing and putting two to two together because you know two plus two is four. And yeah, somebody finally noticed and the fact that he went out and got him vegetables and say, hey, this is what you're normally eating. This is what your body thrives on. And it's, it's like how, okay, like me currently for three weeks now, I've gone from eating um, regular old meat to eating plant-based meat, more but uh ish like that and stuff I've like completely changed my diet my diet because this is something if I go back and eat like a burger ground turkey um chicken whatever I feel like I might throw up I might even be like him I don't know but he has to eat something and so he the fact that you know one of his guards or servants really took that chance it, it tells you that he really cares for him because if he dies, this group is screwed. They won't have a leader anymore. And who knows what the fuck could happen. I don't know what the fuck what your face is planning. But, you know, we ain't going to know until, like, what? Sometime next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 4 of season 2 of Stars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next. I don't know. Once again, whenever episode five comes out, but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.